Hey guys, welcome back to SA EDC Reviews. Um, as you guys may know, we love our Olight flashlights and uh, the one we're going to be looking at today is a little bit overdue. Um, a lot of stuff has been coming in, doing some, some catching up work, etc. But uh, the time has come that we're doing a review on this little baby over here. Okay, so hello to my little friend, the I1R EOS by Olight. Alright, so this is the new keychain light. And the box is uh, quite tiny. As you guys can see, you don't need a big box for small flashlights. Um, white with like the new design. All the new boxes are like this. And yeah, the picture on the front obviously shows the one is to one scale. So that's the actual size of the light. So on a high mode, 130 lumen, 54 meter long distance. And that can run at 20 well, 20 minutes. And then you get a second setting, which is the low light of 5 lumen, um, shine at 13 meters, and that can run for 7 hours. All right. Uh, 1.5 meter impact resistant, um, as well as IPX8 waterproof. And it weighs as little as 12 grams. I1R EOS, as you guys can see. It's got some... Uh, I wouldn't say faded color, that's more from the keys and everything that's been rubbing against it because I have been using this light for over two months now. All right, I really enjoy this light, it's rechargeable, it's tiny, um, it's light, it's not heavy at all, so this is not going to do any harm to your keys uh, or even your car keys when it's hanging on the ignition, etc. Okay, um, very easy to use, so even if you only have one hand, you can still use this by just simply turning um, the head of it like that. It's also set in such a way it's very sensitive. If you don't turn it off all the way, um, let's say you just turn it slightly like that, that's 5 lumen setting and that's obviously 130 lumen. So you turn it back. Um, as soon as it goes off, you can basically just touch the head and pull it a little bit backwards um, into your hand and it will also just go on and off. So that's like almost like a momentary over there. Um, and then obviously simply just turn it on. There's the arrow direction arrows at the back to give you low and off. Um, 5 lumen and 130 lumen. That's a lot for such a tiny light. Okay. Um, when you take the cap off completely, the front, you separate it like that you just keep turning okay so you will feel it come off completely once it releases it goes past that o-ring and then you get the little cap like that and then there's your actual charging port there micro usb um, it comes with this cable so obviously your olat micro usb charging cable same as your Samsung and some other phones as well. So you, you can charge your phone with this cable and uh, vice versa, ch charge the, the light with your phone cable. Once you plug that in there, um, this little white part here actually lights up. So if the battery is flat, that will go red. Um, once it's fully charged, or while it's charging, it will stay red. Once it's fully charged, it will go green to let you know that the battery is sufficiently charged. All right, so... That comes in the box as well and then obviously you get a little uh, instruction manual in the box also i've got a nine millimeter round here that's to show you the size of the actual light okay that is tiny okay so rechargeable absolute bonus um obviously it has to be rechargeable because no battery is going to fit in there unless you get these tiny little flat ones which are yeah, really not going to give you that 130 lumen output. So my wife has taken this one for herself. So she's been using this mornings, opening up the garage. Um, and when at work, obviously in the car, not wanting to open the doors or switch the car lights on, etc. In the interior, she can use this. Or so she's been telling me. But um, even the outside, you know, we'll, we'll have a look now and see what it can do on the outside with the 130, 130 lumen. Such a tiny little torch. IPX8 waterproof, like I said. Um, first of all, let's do the drop test. So you've got the one and a half meter drop test. Let's put it in the 130 lumen mode. 
waterproof test. Let's go test it outside and see the brightness. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know, on the video, it does not justify the actual light. All right. So you can try it with your, with your cell phone flash. I mean, you can shine against something while you're recording and afterwards look at the video that you record. You'll see that the brightness is not the same. So just take that into consideration. All right, guys, lovely evening outside. It is now about half past nine, so you just get an idea of the sun's been down for a while. Um, it's a starry night, so it's not, it's not uh, too dark, but yes, okay. So we've got the wall behind me that I always use, and on that side, let's call it the O-light corner, because I always like to use that specific corner to test the lights to show you from a two meter range or so. Okay, so let's put it on and see what it's gonna do at this wall behind me at about three meters. Let's try that out. Okay, um, lights on. That is five lumen. And I'm actually standing four meters away from the wall. All right. So there you go. Um, you can clearly see that. Okay. And then we'll do the 130 lumen. Wow. Okay. Well, this tiny little torch, that's actually, it's actually uh, quite a lot. Okay. Just run it down the wall. We always do as you guys can see i'm not sure if you can see the wall in the background there right at the back um we've got a little reflector there on Carl's bicycle and that ball over there all right um 54 meters i can see the wall at the back there i'm not sure if you guys can see it on the video but i can definitely see the wall okay so 130 lumen that is nice and bright it gives a nice balanced throw okay so it doesn't give a spot um it's an even throw of light so there we go and then we can turn that down so i'm about six meters away from the wall now i'm going to turn it down to five lumen there you go okay. no cat five lumen cat 130 lumen cat